SEPA schemes will use the 2019 versions of the ISO 2022 messages from March 2024 on. In the SEPA implementation guidelines, we find the specifications of messages used in SEPA. In a previous video, we spoke about the PAX-8, an inter-PSP message, and how to find it on the ISO 2022 website. Today, we speak about an important message used in the customer to PSP space to transport credit transfer instructions from customer to bank. It is the pane one. Right now, SEPA uses the version three of the pane one. From March 2024, SEPA will use the version nine of the pane one message. And contrary to the inter PSP messages, where PSP will move to the new versions and forget the old one in March 2024. In the customer to PSP space, both old and new versions of pain one messages will coexist. Again, it is important to understand that SEPA takes what is already available in the ISO 2022 standard and add requirements on top of it. So, to really understand this SEPA message, you need to go to the source. You need to find a related ISO 2022 message. And that is the purpose of this video. Let's go to the ISO 2022 website. To find messages used in SEPA, go under the menu Catalog of Message, select Message Archive. Type the whole message name under the search field and make the search. Note that the version 9 of the pane 1 is under the message set Payment Initiation version 10. Now, download the complete message set and unzip the file. Here, you find the XSD or XML schema validation files. Note that the XSD here follow the ISO 2022 rules, not the SEPA rules. SEPA has own XSD files. Here are the documents where you find the ISO 2022 specifications. Let's open the PDF file and look for the pane 1 version 9. Use the bookmarks on the left to easily navigate through the file. You can go to the pane 1 directly. At the beginning, read the section 2.1. It contains valuable information. The section 2.2 is the one we use the most. That is where you find the overall structure of the message and the specifications of all message elements within the message. There are hyperlinks inside this document. Use them to easily navigate through it. The pane one consists of a group header and one to many payment information blocks and a supplementary data block. Inside each payment information block, we can have one to many credit transfer information blocks. Click on group header to see the elements that are inside the group header. Now, you can click on a specific message element to learn more about it. For example, the message identification or the number of transactions. To go back to the structure, use the bookmark. Now you can click on payment information to see all the elements it contains. There are hyperlinks on each element. You can use them to go further down to find the definitions or other sub-elements. Now, you know how to find the pane 1 version 9 used in SEPA on the ISO 2022 website. Thanks for watching.